all right what is happening youtube today we're going to be finishing off the fortune ladies and this is going to be the same fortune lady lawn deck that i did uh, uh play with on i believe wednesday and this hand is pretty okay um is it okay i don't know this is an okay hand we can't really do anything with it but hey we can just set the twin twister which is always good we can set the twin twister um because it looks i don't know what he has in his hand but it's it's it's, it's reacting but yeah um this is the same fortune lady lawn deck that i did play on wednesday so if you guys are looking for a deck profile it is on that video so definitely go check that video out and uh while our opponent came plays his deck which we hope that is not broken so we can actually do something and you know play and have some fun and have some little back and forth interactions and it looks like it's bad no he only goes into a trick clown and attacks hope he doesn't play jury gato and it, no it's not i don't know why he's playing 15, 14 extra deck cards but uh that is pretty surprising that i'm only going to get hit how many times would you see this out of like today's Yu-Gi-Oh? how many times would you see a trick clown summoning in the, in the turn like not in the turn but i'm saying just summoning trick clown and attack how many times have you bro come on man you, you're just getting blown out by this now like come on dog come on dog Come on, Kane. Oh, shit. He had dimensional barrier and all that. I was going to lose. Now, this is good. Hold on. This is pretty good. Hmm. I can go Dweller. But that's, that's the waste of a Ghost Arc, isn't it? Um, I can Ghost Arc the Light, actually. And then that's just for free. I can do that. Or I can. No, I think Ghost Arc in the Water is good because he does have Trick Clown. So I don't know what he's, he might be playing. Um, let's go start the water and get a free two draws first. First off, let's get a free two draws. Um, <clears throat> come on, Kane. Don't quit. All right, there we go. Now, you see that little time delay it had? Oh, wow. That really helps. That really helps. Now we have to go into the fire guy. Um, we have to go into the fire guy now because... Um, what is this? Yeah, we're gonna go into that. You have to go into the fire guy now because I want to get some more draws. I want to get some more draws off. And what we can do is instant fusion, right? We can use the instant fusion to get a Norton. Norton's gonna get back to water. Uh, but I don't think he's. I don't think he want to take that much damage. So I th hopefully he does not bring that trick clown back because he's going to take a lot of damage right now if he does bring that trick clown back. Um, so we're going to tribute over this water, get the dark, and um, we can go ahead and attack with, uh, what's the name? Attack with dark, bam, right? We're going to get this effect off. Water is going to come back, and then we're going to be able to draw too because of water's effect. I don't know if you guys know that, but that's, that's Fortune Lady Dark's effect. I know, water's effect, when a special summon while you control a Fortune Lady, you draw two cards. So that's pretty good. Don't bring that Trick Clown back, sir. Thank you. There you go. There you go. You don't don't bring that trick clown back because you're going to just take more damage than you need to take. That is just ridiculous. Um, let's go ahead and just attack with a thousand, no, oh, twelve hundred, and we can attack with this. To be honest with you, we can, but I don't think that have been. Uh, we can actually not attack with this, but I mean, I can use Alistair on it to gain a thousand, but we're not going to go too far in there with it. We're going to leave. We're going to leave him cool real quick. We're going to leave him all right. Then we can go into a dire, not a dire wolf, but an abyss dweller. And then we can end our turn with that. So he's down to three. Um, it looks like he's playing some rank four deck. So even if he is playing something as a trick, uh, like a Minerva Sworn or something like that, we have an abyss dweller and it stops the most shit. So super sword. Yeah, okay. We're definitely using this because um, what happens is that he. Uh, <clears throat> they they use a card that when it's tributed you can banish two and then you draw I mean you search like two bust you search a black luster soldier or some shit like that but anyways why uh Kane is doing what he's going to do what I want to say is like I always say every video if you do enjoy the video leave a like leave a comment also subscribe if you enjoy this video and all that I upload a minimum of three videos a week so you definitely have something to look for with that and also, if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel, which would be very helpful and, and very supportive. So thank you very much. And as you can see, look, I don't know. Um, 
See, like, it's that card right there, that invoice shit. What does it say? Like, during the first turn, what does he be? He banished some books. I'm pretty sure he did that. Um, if this card is in the graveyard, you can banish one light and one dark, except this card and add it to your hand. See, look, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He could have he banished these two and activate the effect. But uh, I'm pretty sure this can't activate, so we're, we're good. And what, what do you get? Do you get double damage? No, do you get double attack? No, he fucking... Oh, my God. Well, folks, I think we lose here. Wait, wait, what? You go through the attack and the... Okay, so we don't lose. We don't lose because we don't take... We don't take... Oh, wait, does he go... Oh, my God, I think we lose. Fellas, I think we lose. Well, there's nothing really I can do about this. Um, There's nothing. If he goes Utopia Lightning, I think we just lose here. Um... Unless he fucks up and attacks the dweller, no, he goes. I think that's still game. Um, because I know we're gonna take at least what that's eight hundred and then tw uh, seventeen. Um, okay. I don't know. I think we lose. It depends on what he attacks. If he attacks dark, oh, all right, we don't lose. We only take a thousand from this because it does the damage in the grave, right? Yeah, and it's zero, so we don't take anything. So that's fine. But then we do take 17 and 19. That's game. We lose. We lose, fellas. We lose. This this Black Luster Soldier, which I always say is the best card in the game. Not this one, but I'm just saying Black Luster Soldier, in, like the, the Banish the Light and Dark one, that is the best monster in the game because that shit is just ridiculous. Um, well, we, we did our best. You know, we tried to play, but uh, we, we got railroaded. Uh, be right back. Uh, then he, then he gonna sneak in a little GG just to hurt my fucking feelings. But you know what? It's okay. Um, that was a good game. I can't I can't hate on what he had. That was a pretty good. That was pretty good. So, um, looks like we're playing against monarchs, and I'm just gonna go ahead and quit. No, we're not playing against monarchs. We're playing against counter fairies, because why not? <laughs> That's the best thing I could say. Is holy sh! I'm about to quit. I don't want to play against this. This is just annoying. I, I really hate Carter Demise. Like, I was playing against Paleozoics with Carter. Oh, never mind. That's, that's, that, that makes me feel better. So, let's just use you. Um, he's going to negate. Come on. Use the negator. Use the negator. Use the negator for free. Use the negator for free. Sadly, we can't. Oh, actually. No, we can't. We can't fusion something with that. Huh? I think I need to put a card in where you could just fusion something with, like, two spellcasters or something. I like a light in the dark or something. I like a generic fusion card. What is that? Oh. Because you don't have to pay cost. You just get it for free. Um, No, I'm just going to attack. Really? You have some battle damp. You have a battle trap too? What? <laughs> what? Okay, what are you doing? I don't know why I didn't do this the first time. To be completely 1000% honest with you. I don't know why I just didn't do that the first time. Just summon an attack. I don't understand that whole play. I'm not going to activate anything. As long as you got back I'm just not going to activate anything. I don't know why you're playing Call of the Hunted. But I guess. That could be another trap. So. You don't play no extra deck, so I'm not scared about leaving a bottom for Artemis on the board. Um, yeah, that, this this is um, unless he has like Drowning. Even if he does have Drowning Mirror Force, I just don't care. I can't activate uh, Brain Fusion no more, right? Yep, can't activate Brain Fusion, and you know you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna draw it. Okay, that's that's good. We can do that. Oh, I really do want to summon. But I think that he's going to have like a trap. Yeah, okay, well, this is uh, it's pretty much free. No, oh my god. Well, let's set this. Hopefully he MSTs it or something. I did not expect that, really. To be honest with you, I really did not expect that. Any top decks, the last Bountiful Artemis in his deck. 
because I'm telling you that's just how it goes when you play. When I when I play, that's just what happens. And then now here goes the fortune ladies that I'm just gonna draw multiple of. If I don't play lawn mooring, I don't play nothing else. So it it the, the tone of the video is gonna go down very, very, very drastically because I just got rippling. Um oh my god. Sorry if you guys do hear that. Um this is just gonna go down hill from here. But this doesn't look like we're gonna be able to survive this. We just need one Eidolon. One Eidolon. Yay! We drew the best card in the game. So we're going to just attack over you. And that's fine with me. I don't care no more. Now it's all three out of the deck. Now, what do you, what, what do you guys think that he's going to actually get now? What do you think is going to happen? Um, I think something cool. Ooh, Wonder Wand. Well, let's just normal summon this. Let's equip this. Is that okay? Or do you have another fucking spell card? Oh my god. Oh, fuck it. We're going to just attack over everything. Oh, wait. I can't attack directly because of rippling. That's cool. Let me see. What is the most dangerous card I can give you? What is it? Strike? I think strike. I think I might give him strike. I don't know. Um, but I'm scared to attack because I know he's gonna have. What is this? Negate attack. Negate attack. Negate attack. Hmm. What do I want to give him? I give him negate. Okay. Wait. All right. There you go. You get a negate attack. So that must mean. Fuck it. Let's attack. Okay. There we go. He did not have it. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're gonna just play this for what it is. It's already turn eleven. And I just look. Look at this. I've turn, it's turn 11. And he's drawn all three Artemis. He drawn all three Ar 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 Ariandes. I don't know what the fuck else he want me to do, fellas. I, I did everything I can. I wonder one, he activated Ultimate Providence. I attack, I mean, I tried to get over all, I got over his monsters and he, he's got Call of the Hunters and shit. Okay, well that's, uh, let's attack. Wait, no, he's gonna, well, let's just do this. Let's just force the attack. Um, do you have another ultimate providence? I can't, I can't deal with you, sir. Why did I not activate gold shark like three turns ago? I'm an idiot. I don't know why I didn't do this. Like I literally can just search twin twister and I think that's what I'm going to do. And just, yeah, let's just attack. Let's just get, let's get these off the board. Um, you, you don't really got anything to go into. There's no reason to negate attack, sir. But like you're on a two turn clock. I really don't know why I didn't do this. I'm just an idiot. That's that's why. I forgot Gold Sark is a I forgot the effect of Gold Sark for like that brief second. So him leaving an attack. Okay, well that's pretty good. Well, we're gonna just do that already. Do you have a warning? Did you just draw a warning? Wow. Good job. Good fucking job, sir. Good fucking job. Let's get one of one of these Artemis. Um, let's just use you to get you back. Um, yeah, we're going to negate you too. Actually, we can't. We can't negate you. We can't negate what he's about to do. Because if I... Wait, hold on. I can't negate it, huh? Yeah, because it gets banished this time. Uh, let's discard Dark. No! <laughs> no! No! Why? Why? Why do you have everything? Man, that is crazy. What you know, like I said, I'm drawing Twin Twister, so I'm just not going to give him something to negate my Twin Twister. And hopefully he doesn't draw into another Ultimate Providence. This deck is really ass, because he literally drew everything. We're going to give you a strike, sir. That's fine with me. You're going to get another strike. I'm going to just Twin Twister you. Now, let's attack for 1850. Um, yeah, sorry for this boring duel, guys. But you know what? We're not. We're going to troop it out, because he drew... All three Ariandes, all three Artemis, double Provident. Like, come on, man. You you can't get any better. Carter Demise, too. Like, you just can't get any better than that. So, ooh, that is a really good card. Um, The Fortune Lady Light is really, yeah. Okay, yeah. Surrender, Akira. Uh, surrender. Stop playing this damn deck. All right. So, now we're going up against Teddy Winter. One, because apparently somebody already has one. And I think I clicked second. No, I didn't. I've opened up with the combo 
Um, should I summon this first, guys? Fuck it. Did we even mill one? We milled one. That's oh, we milled two. Shit, that is uh, that's bad. Well, let's just get this out of the way. Let's. We're not even gonna let them know that we have another one in our hand. Um, that that was dangerous. Don't don't do that, fellas. Don't don't do that. Don't do that one. Don't non mowing first. Uh, <clears throat> damn, I really wish I can. Like, Future Visions activates this, and somebody did suggest Future Visions and stuff like that. Okay, I know what I'm playing. I'm playing Sheer New Zombies because somebody, uh, what's the name? Somebody uh, asked for a, uh, not asked, but um, they were, uh, they told me about, um, he went with his, he went to his regionals with the, uh, with Sheer New Zombies, and he used um, Summoning Curse. And so, I think that's what we're going to, I think that's what we're going to roll with. I think we're going to roll with that one because I do want to see, uh, I want to see it. that that card is really good and I really want to see how it works with zombies. You piece of fucking shit, Teddy Winter. <laughs> Excuse me for that. Did not mean to try to I try to move my face, but oh yay, we're playing against White Prince. But you know what sucks, White Prince? I mean not White Prince. We're playing against King of Skull Servant, but you know what sucks, Skull Servant. Oh, oh, wait. No! Oh my god. They cheated. Hold A. Hold a yes. I, I I'm a zombie player. You're not getting this off, sir. I'm sorry. Um, you're not getting enough. One, two, three, uh, four. Just for the fun of it. Actually, no. We're not gonna put that in the grave. Do we have a water? So let's. Uh, no. We already have darks. Yeah. He he has he has darks in his grave. So we can banish one, two. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. There it goes. Yeah. I, I I'm a zombie player, sir. You're not getting that off. You're not getting any type of unit zombie effect off. Um, I think it was better for me to do that anyways. Okay. I don't, I don't care. I mean, you only, only way you make this good is that you have a burial. That's the only thing. And if you're going to waste your burial right now, then that's just bad. Okay. Well, I didn't draw into what I wanted to draw into. So what we're going to do is going to fortune lady win because this effect activates and we get to pop because we have our own what's the name and that's good. And so now, since I know you're playing zombies, you know, what's going to happen uh whoa i just fucked up here no i didn't yes i did needle bugs nest you piece of shit um that's fine i guess we can pop you um okay what do you have in here okay well we could just castell this back um and then let's attack over this huh yeah let's just do that um what do we have here? Wonder One, Maxi, Regaki. Uh, we can do what one water. This, this, and this. Nope, don't need to use another one. Uh, I'm actually going to. Uh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. What are you doing, sir? Oh, I can just go dweller, huh? Yeah, I, I'm an idiot. I really f completely forgot that like dweller exists, and I'm just doing dumb shit because. Um, I literally don't have to wait to, you know, just beat my opponent right now. And then I think we're going to Gold Sark. Fuck it. We're going to Gold Sark. And then, ooh, we're going to banish. A we're gonna, we do play three waters. I'm an idiot. I don't even know my own damn deck. And look, look at all three fortune. This is why I'm talking about. This is why you always shuffle your deck on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Because look at this dumb shit. That's just retarded. But, um, yeah, we're going to attack over you. And then we're going to attack over you because you're playing zombies. And since we're we're, we're fellow zombie players, I'm sadly, Teddy Winters, I have to just shut you down, man. I know how to shut you down, so I got to. I can't allow you to get anything going. And what is the odds of him having a third King of the Skull Servants in his hand? Well, that's that's just just as good. Um, I think I'm just going to actually I don't think I should just allow him to re resolve that. All right, so that's the one that's targeted, right? That really fucking sucks because I don't know which one is targeted. Um, oh, okay. All right, that's good. That one was targeted. So what we can do is, uh, I guess, do we need to banish wind? I don't know if we want to do that. Uh, no, let's not banish wind. What we can do is just do the rest in the grave. Instant fusion. This guy. 
Gold Sark, Field Zone, Bam, Bam, and Bam. Don't need to chain another card. He's getting, he's getting us. Um, well, Book of Life is really good, but you know what's good about Snow? It's gonna book it. And worst case scenario, we're gonna have to. Oh, okay. Well, hey, 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 I can Hey, I don't have anything else to say. There's nothing else I can do about that. There's nothing else I can do, folks. I, I, I said it. I said, what is the odds of him having another King of the Skull Serving thing? Is obviously high. So what we can do is just. Okay, so you know we have that for next turn. Fortune Futures one. All right, what we can do is we can definitely uh, do this. We put this back in our hand. Um, we're gonna normal summon you. Use your effect. Uh, no, we can leave that one in the graveyard. What we can do is go. He did not know. He did not special summon that, right? Well, we can go Utopia and attack over it. And then we can go into the light guy. Can we go into the light guy? Um, we can actually go into the fire guy. Um, we can go into the fire guy and do how much damage? I don't know. We definitely could stale this one back. And I think that might be the best option is to castell this back and then go into what's the name? I think, yeah, castell that back and then. Um, we have to castell this back actually that's literally our only hope it's our only hope here um what does he have in his graveyard nothing then he could eat he would banish and then well we're gonna have to fusion something using one of our uh, lights uh yeah we're gonna have to use one of our lights here Ooh, i almost fucked up almost fucked up here um yeah, and then this is how we're gonna to have to do this. We're gonna attack with you first. Nope, don't need to use damage calculation. So if you activate the king of the skulls, well, we're gonna just use the effect to banish it by discarding this. Then we're gonna attack with 25. And this is this is what we gotta do. I'm, I'm I'm sad that we gotta do this against zombies, but you know what? We're, we will lose playing this damn duck. We will fucking lose. Um, so we're getting Fortune Futures next turn. Oh, fuck. No. Okay, well, you, you got to activate that, sir. That's going to get banished. Target increase and send to the graveyard. All right, which one is he doing? Okay, send to the graveyard. So that's, I believe that's the second one, but it doesn't matter. We're going to have to negate it because we know what zombies do. We know. Does he, what, what could you possibly have, sir? Don't tell me it's a soul charge. Okay. All right. All right. We're good. We're decent. Oh, we drew, into, we drew into the worst card in our deck. Um, But you know, we got some shit going. We can use the spell, right? Yep. We can use the spell. Add the Eidolon back for free. Hopefully, we don't draw into another one. But it's all right because we have survived. What do we want to put back? We already got a water. We don't have any more lights. Let's go ahead and put back the wind. Let's go ahead and get some drawing going. We draw into a dark and one same. Then we could just normal summon this and get another spell card. And then we have one. We have successfully stopped um, Skull Servants, even though we were very, we was on the brink of losing. We were really on the brink of losing. If I didn't have snow, I was losing. Like there was just nothing I can do about that because he had he had like this is oh, okay. Well, oh shit, I forgot that that card even works. I don't surprise he didn't summon it. Let's discard the garden because we don't need the garden. Um, so you're gonna take the two. Uh, I'm also thinking about just playing this like in regular zombies because it is a hand trap that we can search and it can save us. It can save us sometimes. So I don't know. You, you guys let me know if you know that's some. Wow, well, I didn't even check. That was the exact game. I really wasn't checking. I, I mean, I still had game because of snow, but I really wasn't checking the life. But yeah, I am also. I'm thinking about playing this as a hand trap because we can search it. Um, we're gonna get one more duel and I'll be right back. All right, so the last duel we're gonna start off going against Stola. Uh, uh, Stola. What? Stola Squirrel? I wanna say as fuck squirrel, but that's not. I'm pretty sure that's not what he means. Oh, we're gonna begin to lawnmowing deck ourselves. So now, like, his deck is shut down because, uh, fuck him. So we're gonna use you. 
And I think what we're going to do is just go into what's the name? To the dark one. We haven't went to him in a minute. We don't play the earth one, which we probably should play, but uh Yeah. Let's go into the dark guy. Put him in defense. So he can only activate once and he can attack once. Then we could just get we can just use our Eidolon. Because since we do have another terraforming in hand, we can use our Eidolon. And that going back into the deck puts it back at 53. So his lawn warning would only mill one card. So let's see what stole. Okay, that's fine. I do not know what the hell you're going for. I have no clue what you're going for. What's happening? Okay, wait, what? You sack of shit. That's fine, because you only can use one effect. That's fine. You just you just load down my graveyard pretty much. That's pretty much what this is doing. You're just loading up my graveyard. He's gonna send six. Use uses the effect to send um I don't care. You idiot. What what the fuck was that? Okay, well, I mean you get both effects. It's cool. Cool, Mr. Guy. Why didn't this use anything? Oh, that's why. What do you do in the graveyard? Would be destroyed by a card effect. You can banish this card instead. Well, you a piece of shit. He only put one big one in the graveyard. What is? Well, actually, he did. He put Deviati. But uh, which one is worse? I think what's the name is worse. So what we can do is we can instant fusion, and um, we can definitely Castell that back to the deck. I wonder if we can do anything more. We could Castell. Then we could um. I, I gotta go into the fire one. So go into the fire one, but uh, what would be Anoku is the problem, right? Not actually. It's uh, Anoku is the problem. Um, hmm. We can just put it in the graveyard, but that's just an extra infernoid. Actually, that's the fuck we're finna do right now. We're gonna just. Oh, actually, I should probably play that. Not. I don't know why I keep saying actually, but. Yeah, uh, I definitely should play the one that banishes all the like all the summoning monsters. Um, oh, we could cut this arc it. Ah, let's go arc. I've not summoned arc to like the last two years of my life, so this is a pretty good chance to use it, if any. You know, um, let's use this. Let's just make him upset. Let's just make him upset that I have all these cards. Bam! At the Alistair. We're not we're not gonna reveal I mean he he knows we have another Alistair, but we're gonna just we're gonna cycle through our deck. Just so he can be upset. And I believe I want to banish Deviati. No, Deviati's the monster, right? Deviati is the monster effect. So I don't care about the wait, this one negates spells. This one negates monsters. I think I have to negate this one. I mean banish this one. I don't know really which one I should banish. Um if I do a Nuku. He can't. He can, he can negate. If I do this one, he can't negate. I mean, he can. He can't negate my spells. He only can negate monsters. But if I do this one, he can't do anything. So I'm gonna. We're gonna do that one. Um. Here we go. We're gonna get this back. Oh yeah. So yeah. That that was clearly the better play because now he can't attack over this. Excuse me. I am an idiot. I'm a real big idiot. Because when he had Nukus, he's just gonna he's just gonna attack over all my cards. Wait, you can't do anything, right? Yeah, he can't. He can't even do anything. He can't even negate it. So that was the better play. Watch him top deck like a, a void. What's the name? Something that the void imagination or some shit. Foolish. Oh, you bitch. Let's see what you do. Because if he goes into what's the name, if he sends Deviati, I have to use the effect now. If he sends Devi, okay, yeah, I have to use the effect now because I can't have it die. I can't have it die. I'm gonna. He's gonna. For he's forced to go into the other one now. 
because Deviati is the problem, not Anuku. Anuku doesn't do anything because as long as I have my circle, now he's going to... He went into Deviati anyways. Did not understand that one, fella. Why would you do that knowing I have game? Not Now I have game. Like, what are you doing? No, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, fuck. We're fucking up here, folks. I know he's upset because I would be upset. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that right now. I would be majorly upset. I would just be upset. I'll be mad. I'll just be mad. I'll be pissed the fuck off right now. And he's about to be really pissed off. He has to negate. Yeah, he's he has to negate. There's nothing he can do. Um but it doesn't matter because uh, I got the third one, sir. This is just what I want to do. I got the third one, sir. I don't even think I can go in anything, can I? I couldn't even go in anything. I don't know why. Wait, no. I had a water. Yeah, I could have I went into that. So, yeah, that is it for the Fortune Lady Lawn Mooring Eidolon deck. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that and all that noise and stuff. Let me know what you guys do want me to play next week. But like I said, um, I did want to try out sharing these zombies with the summoning curse because somebody did suggest it. He did go. Uh, I believe he went. He went. He went undefeated. He only he tied three times, and uh, so yeah, he he did leave a comment. So um, I will you know put it together, a share a new deck for the next format, and put in some summoning crises to see how the card is. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. I will see you guys next week with some more uh, what's the name with some more dual videos.